of our owners for this house, we chose The Rock. Let's welcome The Rock! Alright, 18 property is back at Coven and today we are heading to The Hero at Hillside in District 19. Now, if you have watched our previous video for Tree at Sandy Lands in the same vicinity in which we sold in just less than two weeks of marketing. Always happy to be here at one of my favourite estates in Singapore and today we are bringing you to yet another beautiful triple nine years development in District 19. Now, this is an absolute hidden gem that is situated within the private landed and Clave in Coven. Hello? <laughs> Hi, this is Andrew Ho, 18 property. We're gonna check out a renovated two-bader configuration with a size of 904 square feet that comes along with a beautiful and spacious outdoor space. It's really immovable. That's can you try help me? <laughs> <laughs> So if you're after something that's away from the buzzing city and crowd, you want a unit with no list decay, a two-bader that's renovated in moving condition, check out this home tour with us. Let's go! So we are located along Hillside Drive, and this is definitely one of the hidden gem in the D19 Coven landscape. Let's start off by taking a quick look at the floor plan. This is a two-bedder unit with a size of 904 square feet. Comes along with an enclosed kitchen, home shelter for your storage, a common room, one bath, a master room, as well as a huge outdoor space that's beautifully done up with multi-usage based on your needs. In which we'll be getting to that very shortly. A little bit about this project. The Hero at Hillside was completed in the year 2015, which is a relatively new project. Triple nine years lease status, beautiful boutique development with only 24 units right here, built up to five stories high that comprise two and three bedroom configurations. And the rarity here is that there are only two units with a huge outdoor space that's two bedrooms in nature. We're excited to show you later on the possibilities of how you can utilize the great outdoor space that actually connects to your master room in the house. So if you're a young couple looking to live in a low density environment or a pet parent looking to buy a property as part of your legacy plan with no concerns on this decay, then I think this is going to be perfect. Now we want to first bring you to the outdoor space of the house. Just have a look at the size that you get. This is a nice longish rectangular space that is very usable. The glass sliding door provision installed here segregates the space into two zones. So we are situated at level two and right opposite that's your neighbor's home. So for privacy reasons, this elevated wall has been placed in between by the developer. Which is very nice to have because that gives you the flexibility to design this wall space according to the theme of your house to beautify and enhance the entire outdoor space. Right here, that's the planter box. So especially if you love gardening, this is going to be the perfect spot. So the great thing about this space is that you have direct access to the master room from here, which is always something nice to have as it gives you a lot of flexibility as you move around the house. So the view that you get from your balcony is fantastic as you get a wonderful pool view right from your home. You can also conveniently watch over your kids at the pool from here, which is a nice added plus point. Additional space at this corner for you to do some gardening or display items such as a water fountain. For our owners, for this house, we chose The Rock. Let's welcome The Rock! No, 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 not this rock. This rock. Actually, is this a real rock? Oh, this is like a feng shui rock. Owner says this rock is immovable. I always love it when there's a challenge. I definitely live this. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> really immovable. 2,000 years later. That's can you kind of help me? <laughs> <laughs> For the flooring, wooden deckings have already been done. 
So right over at this space, you have lots of flexibility on how you want to utilize the outdoor space. You can place your outdoor furniture here and break up the walls. It's a beautiful space. If you enjoy outdoor dining, you can fit in your dining table right here as well. This is also going to be a perfect spot if you have kids or even pets at home. Definitely ample space for them to run about in this zone. Lots of room for creativity. Your living is very sizable with great viewing distance and space for your coffee table in the middle. You get marble flooring, which is great in quality. As for your TV space, the wall has already been beautifully done up along with your TV console right beneath. So all this will definitely save up a lot in terms of renovation costs when you do take over the unit. Over here, dedicated zone for your dining space. Right now, it's a decent four-seater. And if you want to use this space for other purposes, like fitting in your keyboard or your piano, that is very possible. You can then fit in this dining table at the outdoor space that we showed you earlier. Feature wall has been beautifully done up to ceiling height with mirrors. I think this is beautifully designed as the huge mirrors nicely breaks up the walls of the house in an aesthetically pleasing manner. For this particular cabinetry that you're seeing right here, this is the location of the distribution board which is now nicely concealed at this corner. Now there is an alternative configuration for this space because of the fact that you have such a huge stretch of wall space at this corner. You can choose to use this area for your TV space and then reorientate the sofa to be facing towards the TV space and of course move the dining table towards the outdoor space. All in all, lots of possibilities for you to play around with. Now in terms of locality, we are located along Hillside Road in the Coven Precinct. You're about 10 over minutes walk away to the Coven MRT. That's where the Heartland Mall is. So over time, we realized some of the common reasons why most people love and choose to stay in Coven is pretty much because of similar reasons. Firstly, because this is a mature township, you have pretty much everything right here such as a mall, a food center, and wet market around that area as well. MRT, and people love to travel here because of the long stretch of delicious dining options along Upper Serangoon Road, especially if you have feeling for supper late at night. Notably, you will find the Pongo Nasi Lemak as well as Lola's Cafe at the Simon Road area, which is perfect for brunch over the weekends and many other options. In addition, if you look at the map, you are also geographically residing near towards the middle part of Singapore, which makes traveling convenient. The CTE is a few minutes drive away, which brings you to the town area. And so for your school-going kids, within a one to two kilometers radius, you will find Zhonghua Primary, Rosai School, CHIJ, Yangzhen, as well as PLMGS. Nice full height glass sliding door that encloses your kitchen. Again, nicely breaks out the walls of the house, giving you the sense of space. Right beside, that's your home shelter that is very good in size. We think that especially for a two bather, this is extremely important for your storage needs because it's pretty much already missing in the newer developments that you will find today. You have a dual sink, great when you're doing your dishes. You get ample storage for your kitchen items with the top hung and bottom kitchen cabinetry. I think in terms of space efficiency, it's very well done because if you take a look at the top hung, it's done up all the way to the ceiling height so you don't get any form of a wasted space. You get your hood and cooker hob which are very well maintained since day one. Additional space at this corner, good for a pantry area, microwave your food, toast your bread in the morning. Sunken space for your fridge at this corner, dedicated space for your washer come dryer below. Additional space above for your crockeries and of course you can store your laundry items here like your detergent or softeners and stuff. And of course, huge panels of ventilation windows when you do your heavy cooking in the kitchen. Now, if you're the prefer an open kitchen concept, these walls are possible to be knocked away. You can have a bar top counter kind of concept as well, which is going to give you more tabletop space. Now, why not let's check out the prices that are trending right now for new launches in this estate. Two bedders at Florence Residences, units have been transacted at $1,006 to close to $1,800 per square foot. Over at the Garden Residences, they are going at about $1,006 to $1,007 per square foot as well. These new launches are of 99 year statuses. Over here for the resale prices surrounding D-Hero, prices are trading in the $1,001 to $1,003 per square foot 
with the exception of Huber 28 that is averaging at about 1005 per square foot as it is relatively new which Tio Pit in the year 2018. Over here at The Hero, the asking price is at 1.06 million which translates to over 1001 per square foot. So that gives you a lot of reference point for you to think about in the next 5 to 10 years. And due to the nature that this is of a triple 9 year status, even if you were to hold on to this property or you decide that this will eventually be a part of your legacy plan, I think you are at a very safe PSF benchmark with room to grow. You don't really have to worry much about in the next 5 to 10 years and just enjoy your stay in this apartment. So if you're after a 2 bather 904 square feet with livable space, no worries on the list decay especially if you have legacy plans, you like privacy and serenity in the landed enclave environment but yet within a vast array of amenities while keeping your budget within the range of less than $1.1 million, then I think this might just be the one for you. We like how the developer has thoughtfully configured the unit in the sense where every inch of space in the house is usable with not much of a wasted space within the house and for that you realise that you don't get a long walkway for your area connecting to your room which is typically and always the non-usable space part of the house and so this door leads you to your bathroom now this is beautifully done up and very spacious with a huge horizontal panel of mirrors and if you pay attention to the condition of the sanitary fittings they look like they are brand new because they have been well maintained since day one you get a classy round vessel basin with storage cabinets beneath a wonderful multifunction WC Rain shower has been done as well which is fantastic Dedicated sunken space in your shower area beautifully carved out to fit in your toiletries So to point out one of the interesting and smart provision in this bathroom that you don't really find in other condos in Singapore You get an electrical power point next to the vanity top Great if you are someone who prefers to use your hair dryer in the bathroom And so all in all I think it's in great immaculate condition so for this 2 bather layout, there's a total of 1 bathroom provision which serves both the common and the master bedroom So this door will lead you to the master And the actual door that leads you to the bathroom is right here Now you may be puzzled why the door is missing That's because we are in the midst of replacing the door and our contractors will be here tomorrow So by the time this video is done in about a week's time, this door would have been replaced so I'm going to show you a b-roll footage of the door that has been installed So you can also click on the link below this video to access to our virtual tour So you'll be able to see the actual door that has been installed after today I think with a total of one bathroom for this 2 bather layout This is a great configuration if you're someone that prefers not to take care of the cleanliness of 2 bathrooms at home You want less household chores to do, you prefer something that's of lesser maintenance then I think you will really appreciate this Master room, space for a queen along with two side tables Warm other TV right here So if you want to watch TV in the room Pull it out like this And when you don't need it, you can just push it back Now in the event you don't need a TV in the master room This is a great spot for a dressing table as well With your vanity top right above instead of the TV now with all the wall space that you get in the room, you can warm out your favourite paintings as well and design into a very cosy room And of course, a built-in 4-door wardrobe for all your clothes and linen So for the flooring, you get parquet finishing, great quality And not forgetting, this master room is interlinked directly to your outdoor space So you can access from here and last but not least, this door opens up to your common room Space to fit in a single bed Now you can use this room as your study room as well Fit in a table You'll get a big wardrobe right here Along with shelves right beside for books and other storage Now if you are someone that prefers more wardrobe space for your master You can reconfigure the rooms So let me pull out the floor plan Now right here, you can knock down the walls of the common room Including the current wardrobe Seal out the door right here and you have ample space to fit in multiple panels of wardrobe So for our owners, the asking price for this unit is at 1.06 million So for affordability wise, let's just say that if you were to secure this unit And you were to take a loan tenure of 30 years at an interest rate of 1.2% That will come out to an installment of about 2007 per month So if you are a working couple, the monthly CPF ordinary account contribution that is credited to your account 
is capped at 1380 per month. With both of you combined, that will amount to 2760 from your CPF monthly. That can be used to pay off your monthly installment, which is more than enough to cover your monthly mortgage payments. And of course, not forgetting the maintenance fee, which is like $300 per month, that will form out a small part of your cash outflow. So if you're after a renovated two-bader, triple nine year status, you want to live in the private landed enclave in Coven, you're someone that appreciates a huge outdoor space in a low density development, do contact our listing manager for a physical viewing experience. More details in the link below. Here on the like and subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. This is Andrew Ho, 18 Property. We get your house featured. Yes, it's a really heavy rock. So let me pull out the floor plan. Let me pull out the floor plan. Nash, can you hear me? So, Pop. <laughs> if you look at the. <laughs> Nash, you know what is this? No, it's a fan. It is a fan. Fucking eagle double